everyone, this is Joseph Bendos with another video for virtualsheetmusic.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about a little exercise that you can do that'll help to free up your bowing. In, in particular, help, it will help to free up uh, a little bit of your, your wrist and your fingers. Um, uh, I've seen some students before, and I've seen some other cellists before, who have some trouble with this, and so their bowing, uh, their bowing is a little bit stiff, so when they bow back and forth, there's very little motion in their hand or in their wrist. And then um, sometimes when I tell students who have this problem, well, you have to have a little bit more motion, it's, it's not always that simple. You have to give some sort of... of um, very specific thing uh, to do, uh, some, some very specific motion to practice. And one that I've seen that helps usually a, a wrist in particular that is pretty well blocked or, or not moving at all. Um, it's just this little trick of changing what angle your bow is on the string. Now, not not by angle, I don't mean the, the common way that, that I talk about it, which is you know changing changing the angle this way. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this change. Whether you're whether you have flat hair or whether you have uh, a hair, whether you're playing a little bit more on the side of the hair. Now, if if you just take some bows back and forth, and you start on the down bow, you start a little bit more on the side of the hair, and then as you change, if you then change to more of a flat hair position, it doesn't have to be totally flat, just a little bit more flat, what you'll notice is, is that as you change, your wrist starts to move a little bit this way. And so you start to get a little bit of a wrist motion at the bow change. If you focus on that, on that, now that won't help you get smooth bow changes really that, that much, but it will help you to start to get a little bit of motion in your wrist so that you can then start to work on getting those bow changes to sound smoother. So this is just kind of a, a simple way to get your wrist to start to open up. Um, so, and there's lots of places you can do this. You can obviously practice this just in a scale or something. I find it to, the simplest way to practice it is just on one note, an, an open string, just to take the left hand out of the equation altogether. Um, but a, a, a common etude that I use to also teach this is the dot tower number 21 um, in the first volume of etudes there. Um, and that one, I change it so that the separate notes are to be played up so that that etude goes like this if you do it as written it goes along like that but I change it so that uh, the separate bows are two up bows and then I have the student practice on the down bow being a little bit more on the side of the hair and then on those up bows being a little bit more on the flat part of the hair gets all of this stuff working really well like that. Um, so that's just something to, to think about and, uh, and to try and to see if you see if it helps you to get that wrist opened up. So um, yeah, I hope, uh, hope that little tip was helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave them not uh, on uh, YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave the comments on virtualsheetmusic.com. Those ones I will reply to. Um, uh, and yeah, I, I hope that was helpful. And um, uh, once again, this has been Joseph Endos for virtualsheetmusic.com.